Hello and welcome back to the weekly vlog. This is quite an exciting week actually. We've got a very exciting day today. Um, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a like dressier kind of dress. I feel like I usually start my vlogs and I look a little bit more casual. Um, I'm also very bare faced, which feels weird to start a video with no makeup on. Um, but I'm actually going to get my makeup done in about an hour and a half. I'm going to Harrods of all places to get it done um, at the Givenchy beauty counter because I am off to an event today with Sky TV for the House of Dragon, House of the Dragon, I always get it wrong, finale. Like what the hell, this is so exciting. I have absolutely loved House of the Dragon. I think it's been so good. I think, um, Mm, oh, I don't know. I do. I did really like Game of Thrones. I have a feeling that House of the Dragon. I feel like the the kind of setup of it is almost better. Um, but I don't want to say anything because I don't want to start a riot. Um, because I only watched Game of Thrones for the first time this year, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, that is the plan. I'm really, really excited to get my makeup done. I've not had my makeup done professionally since. I think it's been about four years, like it was a really long time, the last time I had it done I basically had a breakdown because I really didn't like the way it looked so I am hoping today is going to be a lot better, I'm sure it's going to be amazing it's with like the head makeup artist for Givenchy Beauty, I'm literally, I'm like pinching myself right now because this is just insane um, decided to curl my hair, I really hope these curls stay until tonight, it was really, like yesterday we had the biggest thunderstorm and I have a feeling it's a bit humid outside, so I might pop some more hairspray in these. But I'm going to take you along for the day. I have a bit of time, I think, after my beauty appointment. So I'm going to have a wander around Harrods because it literally is, like, my favourite place to just look and just stare at everything. I, I never really buy much, but just to kind of window shop, I feel like that's a good term. I just do a lot of window shopping in Harrods and I'm just going to, like, add things to my mental Christmas list christmas list that i will never buy myself i feel like i'm already starting the vlog and i can't speak properly i can't get my words out what the hell um but anyway right i am going to head now i need to have a think of what jacket to wear with this i don't know whether to go for like a blazer because it is getting a bit cold outside now so maybe i'll go for like a blazer or throw like a jumper on i'm not really that prepared i probably should have thought about this sooner because i've got to go in like 10 minutes but we're gonna make it work here we are at Harrods. Hopefully when I walk out of here I'm gonna like a different and better person. Oh god the lighting, sorry about that. I feel like I need to fix my camera. <laughs> we are finally in the right place. I did have a bit of a oh wait, okay now I've gone wrong. This is not good. This is like one of the shops I come to a lot and I don't know my way. Okay, we've got Christian Vuitton. You guys have probably seen Givenchy before me at this rate. Um, it must be down this bit. God, it's really quiet today. Wow, ah, spotted. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you my face now and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So this is me currently, very windswept. It was so windy. I had like lovely curls when I left the house and now they've all gone, but I'm gonna hopefully look a million times better after this. I feel like I'm being mean to myself, but um, yeah, I'm excited to have my lips done. So whilst I'm just waiting for Claire, I thought I'd show you the counter. It's really nice. They've got some amazing products. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok talking about this, the Prism Blush, which I've not actually tried, but I have tried their Prism stuff. It's really good. But yeah, so one should be, oh God, they've got loads. Look at all that. Wow. Okay, I really want to try one of these. Maybe I'll see if she can pop some on for me. But Shimonji Beauty has got some really good stuff. I love it, especially, I don't know if you can see over there, like the liquid lip balms are 10 out of 10. I swear by them. Okay, so update. The woman that was meant to be doing my makeup is um, unwell and no one had let me know. So uh, I think they're gonna see if someone else can do my makeup. But if not, I feel like I am gonna have to then do a beauty haul in Harris, buy a load of makeup and then attempt to do it myself in one of the bathrooms. Um, but it's okay, we're gonna make this work. Um, Let's see how this goes. So it's a little bit later. I'm just gonna sit down here. I'm currently at the event. I've literally just arrived. Like, I was bursting from the toilet when I got here. I was like, didn't even have time to like say hello to anyone. I was like, I have to go upstairs. Um, but I thought there's no one in here, so I'll give you a debrief on everything. Um, the lighting is terrible. As you can see, makeup is done. I feel like the lighting is making it look 
lighter than my body, but I promise you it's all the same colour. Um, so what ended up happening, happening was the one of the ladies at the counter, she um, did the makeup and then I kind of like did little touch-ups to kind of make it look a little bit more glam. So we got the full face of Givenchy Beauty and then hopefully in the next like few weeks I'll be able to get my makeup done properly by Claire who is like the head of makeup for Givenchy for the UK. But it was all good, they gave me the most amazing little bag of just, well not even a little bag, big bag of just beautiful makeup products. So I will um, do an unboxing maybe tonight or at some point this week and show you what I got because they were really, really nice. Um, and then um, I actually met up with one of the PR girls and we went to Harry's, which is like my favorite place, it's right next to Harrods and we had like a glass of, um, God, can you hear how out of breath I am? Honestly, I need to just like chill for a second. Um, but yeah, we went for a little glass, a little cocktail, which actually I think I needed because, I don't know, I kind of, I came into this van, I know I sound so ridiculous, but like, I didn't see anyone I knew, and I feel like I get, I don't know why, I get a little bit anxious at these kind of events, but I am glad that I go to them. Um, and obviously I'll show you guys, like, it looks really cool, like the event space looks amazing, so I will show you, I think right now everyone's like drinking, chatting downstairs, and then we're gonna move over to, um, the table where I think like, we're gonna have dinner. But um, yeah, so that is the update. I'll show you, I wonder if the makeup's gonna be better if I film in the mirror, hang on. I, Cause I do wanna show you, I am quite proud of how it turned out. Cause I was a little bit concerned. So we've got the blush on. I feel like the blush is like my favorite part about the look, like the blush is really, really nice. Um, then I've got my Fenty lip on. Might update that, update that, what's the word? Top that up. Um, and then yeah, the hair, so. Yeah, I'm feeling good, feeling a bit stressed, but we've got this. It's gonna be a good event. Um, you know what, I feel like if we've got through Monday and Monday's been a bit crazy, then hopefully the rest of the week will be okay. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, this looks so cool. Look at the table settings. It's giving medieval. I love it. Oh my god, amazing. Literally just found my name straight away. That is perfect. <laughs> nice and easy for me. Wanted to show you the like table decorations because it's got Dragonette in the middle. If you know, you know. It's one of those things. Um, yeah. Really, really cool. Show you the menu. So we've got ooh, sliced chorizo, chorizo, how we say it. And I've got arancini. Okay, this is 100% my vibe. I'm also drinking a really nice cocktail. But um, yeah, it's going well so far. You said Skeet Davidson is exactly what oh, a whirlwind Monday was. It's actually Wednesday now. I was going to say yesterday, but we've already had Tuesday and I didn't vlog it. I really hope I made some sense on Monday. I was actually really determined to have like a cute little makeup montage of me getting it done. And yeah, it just didn't, it didn't end up being that. I feel like it was one of those days where it was like really testing. <laughs> um, but I feel like I passed the test. I actually was quite happy with the way that the makeup turned out, even though obviously I didn't get it done professionally, it still went okay. And then the event was really fun. Um, so I thought now, whilst I 
I've been speaking about makeup so much today. Well, not today, but in this vlog. Should I just do some makeup? She once she gave me a load of products, so I'm just like, should I just do my makeup on camera? I've not done this in a very, very long time. I also don't have the best setup. I've got like a mirror here, so I'll probably be like looking over here in parts of this clip um, just whilst I try and get the makeup right. But there's literally loads of stuff. So I'm gonna see what there is, see what there is to work with, and then I'll add any of like my makeup that I have currently. And then yeah, we'll do a little autumn makeup routine. Um, okay, so, oh, we've got my cell wall, so I probably don't really need that now. Um, and a serum, don't need that. But what am I looking for? Oh, prep and set glow mist. Okay, perfect. Let's start with this. Oh wait, actually wait, 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 wait. I got this the other day. It's by my Oliviana, and it's a T zone stick, and it's meant to like keep your skin matte all day. That's what it looks like. But I'm gonna try this out actually because I um. I get really oily skin, like really, really oily skin. So I think maybe if I just put that in my like oily places, then maybe it will, it doesn't feel like much is going on my face. Oh, there is a bit of product. It's really hot in this flat today. Oh my goodness. Like, are we the only weirdos that have the aircon on still? Because we literally have to have the aircon on all night. Like it's just so hot in here. I might have to put the aircon on actually because I'm boiling. Okay, hopefully that's not going to ruin the audio too much. Um, okay, so T-Zone stick is on. Now let's try the Prep and Set Mist. They actually did put this on my face when I was at the Givenchy counter. And it was it was quite good. It's got um, SPF 45 in it. So it's like your SPF and your um, primer all in one. Although, I would say, personally, I have put SPF on underneath anyway. Because I don't know if this, like... I don't know if this is enough coverage for me in terms of SPF because my skin just, I just don't want it to get old and wrinkly, you know, when I'm older. So I'm just trying to keep it looking young and fresh. Um, right. They didn't give me a foundation, but I have actually been trying these. Uh, so this is the Sculpted by Amy Satin Silk Longwear Foundation and then the concealer. So I'm gonna go in with this. This is so full coverage. I'm gonna come closer to the camera so you can actually see like how intense this is. You literally need the tiniest amount. Like, do you see the difference in coverage? Like, what the hell? It is insane. I think it's not like the, I don't know, it's not a bad match. It's not like the exact color I think I'd go for, but to be fair, whoever sent out the PR packages, they got it pretty spot on with the shade. Um, but yeah, it's so, like, look at the difference. It's so full coverage, what the hell? I'm gonna bring it down my neck a little bit because actually this foundation is, my my tan right now is not tanning, it's not doing what I need it to do. And the foundation doesn't really match. Um, but hopefully that's kind of fully covered. And then this is the concealer. Again, same name, Satin Silk Longwear Concealer. This is really good and kind of like the foundation a little goes a long way like I've definitely just put on way too much but it is honestly so good. I think Sculpted by Amy is actually one of my favourite brands. I use their like um, I guess like medium coverage foundation. I've been using that for probably the last like six months and it's just so good. So yeah I mean look that is insane like if I was going on a night out this is what I would be packing because it's just mad. I'm probably gonna have to blend this in for a while now because I definitely put too much on. I'm gonna go in now with the Givenchy Prism Libre, I think that's how you say it, um, pressed powder. Looks like that, can you see? It's like four different colors. It's really cool, really, really nice. And then I have this like little sponge thing. I really need to clean all of my sponges and brushes. Sorry if that is grossing you out. It's also grossing me out. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes because my under eyes, does this have a mirror how it does? My under eyes get so creased. Like I don't know if it's the way I apply my makeup or if it's just genetically, but honestly like I get such bad creasing. It's so annoying. Have any of you guys watched the House of the Dragon finale yet? Let me know. That ending was literally mad. Like, can't believe it. And then I saw this morning that the next season's not out till 2024. 
So we've got a long time to wait and I feel like I'm definitely going to forget. Um, now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty. I actually don't know what this powder is called. The Easy Bake Loose Powder. This is actually one of my favourites. I love this. And I'm just going to kind of go over the rest of my face and just pray that all of these products help me from keeping oily. I'm going to do check-ins throughout the day actually because it is like the one thing I struggle with the most is just like getting really shiny skin and bless people people are so nice sometimes they're like no it looks dewy and I'm like no it looks sweaty like it's just not it's not my vibe I feel so uncomfortable right now I'm gonna have to sit back up hopefully you'll still be able to see me but yeah I need to get a better setup for filming stuff like this I think because on the bed probably isn't the best place needs to have a little like rejig I think of like maybe the front room see if I can find a nice filming space for fashion videos and like for filming beauty and all of that stuff because I don't currently have a good space and I see so many people on Instagram have these amazing like beautiful spaces that look like studios but they're in their house and I'm like how do you do that maybe I need to get someone in my mum's quite good at interiors maybe I'll ask my mum see if she can help me out as you can see I use a lot of powder but I just feel like I need to I get through powder so quickly like I got this because I absolutely love it. I got the hourglass powder for my birthday and that should usually last someone maybe three months. It lasted me three weeks. It's really, really bad. Maybe I just am not using the right combination of products. If anyone has any tips, please let me know. Um, oh, I also got this powder from Givenchy. I'm just going to show you it. So again, it's in like the four kind of squares but this looks quite pink and I feel like it wouldn't make I don't think it would suit my skin tone but I have used this before and um not these colours but I have used it before it's a good product okay so we're gonna go in now with some bronzer I use the Hula Caramel from Benefit I have probably never used anything really other than Hula bronzer I need to branch out a little bit I know that the Charlotte Tilbury ones are meant to be really good, but um, yeah, I just, I always come back to this one, it's so basic, I feel like this bronzer has been around for like a decade, but it's just my favourite, I really, really love it, just gives like quite a natural kind of glow, I find. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit closer for this next bit, because this is quite new in my routine, but I don't really know how I didn't do it before, to be honest. Um, it's just contouring my nose just with the same bronzer um, I basically you guys I'm sure you probably haven't noticed but it's a real thing for me my nose goes like this like it goes to the or to my right your left I think maybe when you're watching this and it really annoys me I basically I broke my nose a few years ago in a car crash and um, I think actually I think I broke my nose twice before because I broke it when I fell over on roller skates as well so yeah, my nose has been through it basically throughout the years and um, it just needs a little bit of fixing up. Not fixing up, god that sounds terrible, but um, I just like doing it. So I'm going to just bronze here. I basically just try my best to draw a straight line so that it kind of gives the illusion of like a nice straight snatched nose, if that makes sense. Um, and then I just bring it up to here. I mean, there's probably so many better ways of doing this, but this is just the way that I find works, and it kind of just just makes me feel a little bit better. And actually, I didn't do this step when I was at the event, and I was looking back at the clips, and I can tell, I can tell, I'm like, I haven't done my nose contour, and I feel like, to me, it's very obvious. Um, I'm probably just massively overthinking it. Also, is anyone else having a nightmare with baby hairs at the moment? I've got so many baby hairs. Crazy. I'm glad my hair's growing though, so can't complain too much. So yeah, I mean, it's not done a huge amount, but it's done enough so that I can tell the difference. So I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna move back again. Gosh, sorry, I hope this is not annoying. <laughs> Me just moving back and forth. I have seen this next product all over TikTok. It's the Prism Libre Blush. So again, it's got like the four little compartments. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this, honestly, 
is like gold dust to buy. I really, really struggled. Oh my God, stop. The mini powder puff. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to have to take the, um, all the sticker off. Before I take the stick off though, this is what it looks like. I don't know if it focused before, but like how cool is that? So you basically get like a mix of all of the products. I'm going to have to ask Tommy to open this because I can't do it with my nails. So I'm thinking I'm going to pop the lid back on, flip this over, give it like a little tap. I think that's going to be the best way to distribute the product. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that, that is so cute. And then I'm going to grab my tiny little powder puff. I can't, this is literally like the cutest thing. And then go in with that. Is that working? I can't really tell. Oh, that is. Well, oh my god. Okay, that is very pigmented. I probably don't even need the amount that I've tapped into the cap there. Oh, stop. This is a nice colour. Oh, it's super rosy. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna put a little bit over my nose as well. Oh my god, stop. That is actually so cute. Okay, cute. I like that. I'm happy with that. That is a really, really good blush. I understand the hype now. I would 100% recommend that. I will link everything down below as well. Uh, okay, highlight. I didn't get a highlight from Givenchy. So I'm going to go in with my Sculpted by Amy Cream Luxe highlight. And I literally just tap this in with a finger. It's really blendable. It's just one of my favourites. It's just really a lovely colour, like it's not too intense. Do you remember back in like 2017 when we would literally put like strobes of highlight on our cheeks and it was so bright and I used to go out like full on cut crease, big stroby highlight. Like it's actually insane. I don't think I could even do that now if I tried. I kind of miss that though. I feel like I was quite good at makeup a few years ago. Um, now it's very, very basic. But, you know what? I had a good time. I was like 21 at the time. 20, 21. So, yeah. I feel like I enjoyed that moment. I don't think I'd probably wear it now. Even if it was still a trend. Do you see what I mean? I feel like the light's catching it ever so slightly. It's just a lovely glow. It's a really nice product. Um, I haven't got any brow stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my brows off camera. Because, honestly, my brows are just... They stress me out and I feel like you guys don't want to watch me for five minutes try and make them even. So I'll be back in a sec. Brows are on. Oh my God, I feel so much more human now. Um, for the products, God, I'm actually getting cold. Turn that off. Um, for my brows, I literally use a Rimmel brow gel because I actually picked it up from Sainsbury's the other day and then I use a misguided beauty like brow pen thing. Um, but yeah, they just take me so long. I don't know why. I think I might need to look into getting that micro microblading is that what it's called because yeah if i could save some time doing that that would be great okay nearly done eyes so i have not tried this yet but this is the rem beauty baby doll palette very much my kind of colors and i was actually waiting to use this in like a reel or a tiktok but I keep telling myself I'm going to do it and I haven't done it. Um, I am actually going to move closer again so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I am not an eyeshadow pro. I also don't have clean eyeshadow brushes so please don't come for me. But I uh, I hadn't planned to film this today basically. I just thought well, I might as well do it. So I'm going to go in with the lightest colour. I don't know if they've got names. It doesn't look like they've got names but I'm going in with the lightest one. Just as like a base colour so that everything else can sit on top of that. I'm now going to go in with this colour here and just kind of darken up the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with uh, kind of a mix of these two colours here and just put those two in the corner just to kind of darken up just a little bit more. I don't want it to be super intense, but um, yeah, just like a nice amount. These are really good eyeshadows. Come through, Ariana. You smashed it with this palette. I literally am such a diehard fan of Ariana. Like, I love her stuff. When I was younger, I was obsessed. She actually follows me on Twitter. It's one of my biggest flexes. I actually can't believe it. I mean, actually, does she still follow me on Twitter? She did last time I checked, but actually, that was a while ago. Should we see? Wait, what? Has she deleted Twitter? 
No. Oh my god, what? Ten months ago, she deactivated her Twitter. That's ruined my day. She did follow me, I promise you, she did. Oh my god, what the hell? And how, ten months ago, where have I actually been? Oh my god. Anyway, I feel like this has ended up looking a little bit more smoky than what it was meant to, but that's okay. Really beautiful colours. I absolutely love them. Um, and then I'm going to go in and I use, I use this brush here. And I'm just going to kind of do similar kind of vibes on the underneath of my eye, but just like smaller. So I'm going to go in with that middle colour just as like a little base. And then I'm going to do these two and just do them in the outer corner. So it all kind of like blends in quite nicely. I actually quite like that. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then, oh, there is a glitter. Should we go in with a glitter? But there's two options. There's like this lighter one and then the darker. I think I'm going to go in with the lighter. I'll go in with my finger, see how that, ooh, okay. Okay, obsessed. That looks really good. Again, my feet are hurting. I'm going to move back. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about this. I feel awful just like moving back and forth. Um, and then I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the REM Beauty Mascara. I'm not going to lie. I don't really love this. It's kind of, I'd say it's more of like a lengthening mascara more than like a volumizing mascara, but it will do the job. It's the one that I have with me right now. I actually prefer, my favorite mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash. I adore that mascara. I just think it works really well for me. But yeah, this one's not bad. Like it is quite, it's nice. I just, yeah, it's not my favorite, but I haven't really given it enough of a chance. I've only used it a few times. Um, I also don't use like an eyelash curler, so I probably don't really help myself with like the tools to make my lashes look the best they can be, but it's fine. Oh my God, not me poking myself in the eye. What is wrong with me? Oh my God, my eyes are literally just watering so much. Ah! Oh my God, don't start crying. Don't start crying. Honestly, what a mess this is. Could never be a beauty influencer. As much as I'd love to, but they just make it look so easy. I don't know how they do it without poking themselves in the eye. Well, probably because they're not stupid like me. Um, yeah, it's all right, the mascara. It's okay. It does the job. I actually really love the packaging. I think the REM packaging is really, really nice. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Good for, I guess, everyday lashes. Um, I reckon it's also probably quite a nice mascara to sit underneath, like, falsies. I think that would probably work quite well with this mascara. Um, right, I've got a little bit of fallout, actually, from the powder. So I'm going to just sweep that away. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And finally, for lips, I'm going to go in with the Rose Perfecto Balm from Givenchy. This is kind of just like... Oh, that was really pretty. Can you see that? Oh, please focus. Should I do, like, beauty influencer vibes? Is that focusing? It's kind of got, like, a... Um, what if I maybe move it up? Can you see that? It's got, like, a marble effect to it. Oh, there we go. Love that. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous lip balm. I might put proper lipstick on later. I have got a call later, so I might do that then. But I just think, for now, what am I looking for? The palette. I promise you, next time I do makeup in a vlog or on like a proper YouTube video, I will have like a decent setup. Oh, cute. Just, a sl just like a slight bit of colour. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, love that. I actually feel like the makeup's turned out okay. Considering I've literally just done it on the bed, in the bedroom, like, I'm quite impressed with that. I think I've done a good job. Um, oh, should we set it with this thing? The thing that was the prime, primer and the setter. Let's see. Yeah, cute. Okay. Love that. I'll show you a close-up as well. 
what do we think? Just like simple everyday makeup. I think I'm gonna be using this a lot actually. I think this is really nice. Okay, love it, very cute. Thought I would show you my lunch. I'm actually very proud of the way I've like poured. Basically, I bought this balsamic glaze thing and I've been practicing like putting it on the plate and making it look like swirly and cute. And I feel like this is one of the best times I've done it. So I wanted to document it. Little veggie risotto. I mean, it's nothing that special. I feel like I'm the fussiest person in the world, so there's not really much in there, but I think it looks really good. So I wanted to document that. I'm gonna spend some time this afternoon packaging up some juniper orders because we've had a couple come through. So I thought I would show you what the customer ordered um, for the one I packaged. I've actually pack packed up a couple. I think Tommy's moved the boxes. I don't know where they are. But anyway, this order I think is really cute. So we've had someone order our our card and necklace which is basically like this really beautiful kind of snake chain it's just a really like great necklace it goes with everything really easily stackable and then they also ordered one of the little honeybee necklaces these have been very popular recently actually is that gonna focus let me move my face out of the way okay there we go so yeah it's like a cute little bumblebee um, but yeah, these, to be honest, we weren't selling a huge amount of these and in the last week we've sold quite a few, so I guess people are really into bees in the autumn, um, which is great. So yeah, I thought I'd show you the packaging as well. So this, I don't think I've ever spoken about Juniper because now I'm posting on my main channel. So yeah, these are our boxes. Sorry, I just find this so exciting. I've had the brand for like six months, but you know. So we've got a cute little white box with the gold J and then we have this beautiful kind of sagey green coloured pouch. Um, I just love it. So I'm going to pop these in. But it's so nice. On honestly, like every single time we get an order, my heart just feels so full. Like it's just the nicest feeling that people, you know, see the brand and want to buy from it. I'm just so grateful. Um, we're currently in the midst of planning Black Friday as well, which is literally, I think it's a month, pretty much a month exactly, like a month yesterday. So, yeah, we've got to really, you know, hurry up. I've got to get my shit together and start properly planning it. We've got lots of um, ideas and lots of creative kind of plans that we have for it. We just need to crack on and do them. So, yeah, I think maybe starting next week, I will start doing, like, different photo shoots and stuff for that. So I'll bring you along. Um, so, yeah, these are the boxes. And then I'm going to grab one of our big boxes to put them in. So yeah, we put them in one of these boxes here. I feel like if you order from Amazon, you will kind of recognize what this box looks like. Let me just move this out of the way. I don't have a huge amount of space on this desk. Um, but yeah, you basically like undo it in the middle. I'll show you in a second. So yeah, I literally just tuck the boxes in and then these two bits fold in and it basically means that they don't move around so our customers don't like get smashed up boxes and stuff when they arrive or hopefully they don't anyway. But yeah, thought I would show you. Very exciting. I actually can't remember where I left the vlog off yesterday. Um, I think I was doing Juniper, maybe. Um, it's actually quite a bit later. It's like nearly four, actually it's one minute to four. Uh, it's Thursday, it is Halloween party day. I've been invited to the Mac Halloween party and my costume has only just arrived. Well, my accessories for my costume. I was literally tracking the Amazon delivery person all day and then I ran to my concierge and luck they hadn't scanned it through so I was like basically they let me in there was about 10 big boxes of like Amazon packages and I made my way through them and I got it and I have to say I'm quite disappointed um, only because I thought the angel wings would be a little bit bigger so the plan is to go as like dark angel mainly because I could just do like a smoky eye and then hopefully try and pass that off um i'm not yeah i'm not so much of a makeup person i think i said that yesterday so oh okay so this is the halo um do you think i'm meant to push that up do you think that should be like uh, oh mm, okay i might have to tweak that but oh my god that's really wonky okay workable and actually that is sitting up straight on my head. So that actually, that looks all right. Happy with that. And then these are the wings. Actually, these feel really gross, the feathers on this. Um, how do these open? 
Okay, they're meant to go on your shoulders, but I don't really know how. What? I'm so. Okay. Okay, so I think these straps are meant to obviously attach onto you, but they look like they've been put on the wrong way. Because I wouldn't wear the wings. I'd wear the wings like that, wouldn't I? Like that would be on my back, but the way it looks like I should wear them is. So I'm wearing it like that. Or is that correct? Is there a picture? Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work. Let me see if Amazon have got a picture, hang on. Okay, I actually think you do wear them forward. Like going off, can you see that, the picture? Yeah, I feel like forward is the way. Um, okay, okay, we can, we can make this work. I think this is workable. I don't really know how you do them. Hang on, I'm gonna take this off. Oh God, I'm getting flustered. Please ignore the outfit. Um, I literally have no words, it's really bad, but they're on and they're not wonky. Well, they don't look too wonky. Oh, cute. Okay, I feel like they are small, but they actually look a bit bigger than what I thought they would. I think now that they're all like, I guess, displayed out but not bad not bad for an amazon panic purchase um and then the dress i think will look really cute with it actually so i feel like i feel a bit better about tonight because i was getting quite stressed about it so yeah okay cute i feel like the next time you see me i'll actually be ready i won't film another like makeup thing because i feel like i've done enough for this vlog but um okay Cute. I've not been to a Halloween party, like a proper Halloween party for a really, really long time. I went to one last year, but I dressed as a firework. It was just the worst outfit ever, so I'm not even gonna count it because the outfit was just so bad, but I wanna make the most of tonight. Okay, what do we think? I don't know how to feel. I've never done this lip color on myself. I think it's scaring me, but I'm gonna go with it. And then, my eyes, they're basically like, well, they're meant to be like little wings, like angel wings. What do we think? I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna, um, I need to do my hair, then put the rest of the outfit on, then hopefully it will all pull together. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of myself. I mean, it literally did take me about an hour and 10 minutes just for this, but I think it's worked. We have the uh, final look ready to go. I think my eyelash is falling off, so just ignore that bit. But, what do we think? We've got the little dress, I have got the gloves, they're just down there. Um, but, I don't know if I can be bothered to wear the gloves now, it's still quite warm in this flat, so I might pop them on before I go to the event. But, I feel like this has turned out better than expected. I'll show you a close-up of the makeup as well. So yeah, here's the makeup. I mean, obviously not. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm sure it's MAC, there's gonna be some incredibly well-faced makeup. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but some amazing makeup. But it's it's not awful. I'm quite I'm quite happy with this. It is a little bit bright. We've got the light on right now. We are here with Daisy and Mona, ready to go. Oh my god, look at us all with our really I know. We are literally twinning with our matching halos. Not We're planned. Like in the a, Mona's in a devil. Cuddle, like squished oh, it. If you could, well, you could probably see the wings. Like I don't actually know how we've managed to all fit in the back. But we've done it. I'm very proud of ourselves. We've done good. Literally can't wait. <laughs> okay, this is literally so cool in here. Oh. oh my god, look. Love that. We're currently getting swatched for foundation. Millie is getting herself swatched. Gorgeous girly. I just got what colour did I just get actually? Sorry, I really hope you can hear me. I've just gone for N5. Mine in there as well. C5.5. Like they might care. They might care. What colour did you go for? 4.75. Ooh. What did you get? Five. Five. So we're basically like similar. Yeah. yeah. So Love if you that. look like Millie, you go for this colour, this shade. Yep. If, if you look like Mona, if you look like me, if you're Mediterranean and you've got that olive, you should go for this one. Lovely. There we go. And then if you look like so me, like go this. for this. It's like light, medium, dark. Yeah. Yeah. Why? So weird. See, I've never heard of a C. I've never heard of a C. I'm an N. I'm an N. Oh, Go on, girl. Twinning. 
Just got back from the event. It's about 10 to 11. I ended up leaving early, even though this is very late for an event. Like for me, usually I'm back by like 10, but it started at eight, so it was quite a late one. But I don't know, it just got really, really busy. I feel like the party, when I left, I feel like the party was only just beginning, but my social battery basically died. So um, yeah, also please ignore my recycling thing there i need to take the recycling down i've had way too much stuff arrive but thought i would do a little unboxing of like the goodie bag because i've not actually looked at it yet i always feel like it's rude to look at the goodie bag like whilst you're at the event but they were giving away so many products and actually i feel really bad admitting this but i have not used mac products in quite a while i did use their lip gloss actually tonight which is i think it's from their christmas collection last year which is called optical delusion um, which I actually really liked, but they were giving away so many products. So I've got the I've lost one of them. Oh, no, I did pick up a primer. I did have a primer, but that's gone missing So I basically have the n5 studio fix Foundation I have a little mascara and then I have the prep and prime studio fix mist Which is what I picked up from the rooms. Oh, that's very annoying. That I've lost the um the primer let me see if it's over here no i've absolutely no idea where that is i've fully lost it but that's okay um okay let's have a look what's in the goodie bag i've always used to love the matte bags when i was younger i used to just keep all of these in my bedroom like they were just such like an elite thing back in the day um i'm okay i feel like i don't need to worry there's a primer in here perfect oh my god it's meant to be so we've got primer We've got, oh, another Fix Plus. Oh my God. My makeup is going to be staying all day, every day. Then we've got a, oh, another primer. We've got a moisturizing and illuminating primer. And then we've got a matte primer. I feel like this, the matte one is going to be the one that I use because my skin gets very shiny. I don't know if you can tell. Um, oh, okay. What else? We have a ruby woo lipstick oh my god this is such like a classic mac lipstick love a bit of ruby woo very cute i don't normally wear red but if i am gonna wear red i feel like this is a good shade it kind of matches everyone then we've got a mac stack mascara and finally what's this oh and black eye crayon in shade feline which is black um that is amazing oh my god i can't believe i've got all these amazing products like oh gosh very very grateful but yeah it was a really good event i feel bad i feel like i felt like a bit of a loser leaving early but um yeah you know what's what's got to be has got to be and tommy's not even back so he, it was the last day at his job today so he's out with all his colleagues usually he's actually home before me so I'm quite impressed that I'm back before him. I don't know when he's going to be here, but um, yeah, I'm going to take off my makeup. I literally had to put all of my foundation like down to here on my neck because my neck was really patchy. So I'm going to try and fix that tomorrow. But um, yeah, I will see you in the morning on Tommy's. So Tommy's basically got like five days off of just, well, five days off between starting two jobs. And I'm so excited to just spend some time with him. Like, I feel like we don't get to spend a huge amount of me time together. So I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's a Friday. I'm actually feeling pretty fresh after yesterday. And I'm very proud of myself because, I don't know, I, I, I'm starting, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to feel less and less fresh in the morning. And I get really bad, like, anxiety after I've been drinking, but I feel okay. Um, anyway, I have a delivery from Strathbury, and I wanted to show you because I absolutely love their bags. I'm going to a press event next week, actually, so I'll be able to show you the whole collection. But they are such beautiful bags for, like, such a good price um like the quality i would say is very similar to like big designer brands genuinely like i think their quality it's probably better actually to be honest um so this is the bag i absolutely love this hang on is the name of it on here oh it's called before i show you the mosaic top handle grain leather in oat this is literally the most gorgeous bag look at that i I'm obsessed. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take her for a spin today. 
I just love it. I have my, I don't know if it will match actually, but I've got like a blazer that's a similar colour. I just think it's absolutely stunning. Such like a good shape. So yeah, this is a great start to a Friday. We are off to Richmond today. I feel like Richmond is a place where me and Tommy always go to when we're like, what should we do? We just go to Richmond. Uh, we did have some lunch plans, but we pushed them to Monday um, just because we're both feeling really, really tired. But this is the outfit. So I've got this really nice leather or faux leather. I can't remember actually. Um, it's from Karen Millen. So I will link it if they still sell it. They might do. Um, and then I've got, hang on, there's an easier way of me to film this. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, trench caramel in. The top is H&M. These jeans are giving me very much like 90s vibes. They're naked fashion and so are the boots. But I just feel like this is a really classic outfit. I feel like I don't like my life's put together with this on. Um, and then I've got my, my Mew Mews to, oh God, complete the look. Look at that. Oh. I love it. Very happy with today's outfit. We are now in Richmond. We've actually come for food because we're both starving. So we're at the ZZ's here, which I've never been to before, but it's really cute. It's very like cozy feeling. And I'm very excited because this is actually my favorite thing ever. What was that, sorry? Table one. Table, yeah, table one. This, I've literally got this every single time I come to ZZ's for like the last probably five years. But it's my favorite thing. And then Tommy gets this. So we just thought it's nice and easy, we know what we want, easy to do, although this stuff looks good as well. But I think I'm gonna go with the pasta. To start, we have got the garlic bread with mozzarella and I think balsamic onions. This is really, really good actually, I love this. And then for mains, this is the pasta, the casareccia, I think that's how you pronounce it, polo picante, and then Tommy's pizza. God, I'm so hungry right now. Like this just is heaven. We're just having a little walk along the river. I've also got myself a Noops, which is like my favorite hot chocolate. But the sun's out now. It was looking like it was gonna rain earlier, but it's come out so beautiful. Just look. Gosh, I bloody love Richmond. I just, I just think it's so cute and cozy and there's loads of like nice restaurants here. Sorry. We were chatting like earlier that we might live well actually we said I oh, would love to live here and then we looked at the house prices and we were like um maybe not for a few years but I'm just gonna manifest it and just wander along we've just come into Zara home been looking at the throws because the throw in our bedroom is really not very nice but I love these and then Tommy reminded me of how hot the flat is um so probably not necessary for us oh these smell nice Salted caramel, that's actually what I can smell. Oh wow, chimney. Oh, they're really cute. You've got Christmas stuff. Oh, I've similar, yeah, quite similar. This is like, this is a bit thicker than ours. I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas. Back at the flat now, and I somehow managed to not buy anything from Zara, which I think it was quite impressive. I mean, there was so much I wanted to buy, especially like the Christmas stuff. I'm so excited to start decorating for Christmas. I feel like this time next month, I feel like it's acceptable to uh, end of November. I'm pretty sure we had our tree up end of November last year, which I know some of you are gonna be like, that's way too soon. But it, I'm, I'm just very excited because we've never had Christmas in this flat. So I feel like I just wanna, start it as soon as possible and the tree just always makes everything look so much better so that is the plan um god why have i gone down like a christmas road right now i need to just stop like we've got black friday and everything coming up soon oh my gosh got to start planning for that as well with juniper um we're planning on having some very good sales though so um stay tuned i need to plan them as well um but yeah anyway Gosh, I am rambling so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you've got to this point, I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Bye.